All right. Here, let us try the watch first. As he snuggles into his seat. Now, the question is, do I want to actually try and recall memory here, or do I want to instead implant suggestion of, of don't worry about, about us talking to a strange voice that you don't hear? Because I'm tempted to try that, so that we can talk to the alchemist without him really caring. Can you technically do both, or do you only get one use of the... Uh, I get to choose hmm. one, I believe. Okay, you can only do one. Yeah, I can use hypnosis once per day, and both of them are separate. Oh yeah, it's more if you could do, like, one, then the other. Nope, it's still a once per day thing. Sadly. No, it's a ten minute procedure, so if you just, in the middle of the minute. hypnotism, pop up message like you were going to, I could just yammer to him. I guess that's true, yeah. I can... Yeah, I can do that. I'll I'll do the recall memory and also ten minute procedure. It's a one minute interaction. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was. No, what no. One of the other things is ten minutes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably phrenology or oh, no, not even. Ah, uh, yeah, there. For sure. Uh, so what are you hypnotizing with slash for? Uh, or... Let's do recall memory and like in the middle of it, I'll sort of combine it by casting a. I'm uh, trying to, like, detect thoughts, see if I can catch the alchemist's brain, mind, and see if I can cast message on that. Okay, then. Give me a la, 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 diplomacy, I believe. Uh, yes. Is this a hidden check? I don't think this one's actually hidden. I don't think this is a hidden check. Uh, let's see. And I want to self-assurance this, so... Go, go. Plus ten. Wait, where the fuck did I leave the magic sheet? God damn it. Roll a five. Do you have any form of reroll? No, not the nope. Not personally. Uh I mean it has to beat their will DC, so It it has to beat no, it has to beat uh oh, twenty, 20 plus, plus their will save will. modifier. So yeah. Uh it's quite annoyingly difficult. And you always roll I feel like you always roll just kind of middling on your uh you mean I'd roll Cold either skills. low or twenties? Yeah. You want to call skills? Um, that's an enhancement bonus. Which I mean, the thing is, this doesn't actually need to work that's because this is just a recall memory. This is an incidental thing that we're using as an excuse. It's fair. So it it's fine. Fifteen's fine. It's just you might be hypnotizing him. It's just not getting any memories. Yeah. Sure. You spend the time attempting to hypnotize him, and. As you do so, despite the fact that you didn't actually succeed, that mental apparition forms beside him once again. Mullen's eyes slightly going wide at you. Let's just sort of nod slightly and finish the casting a message to Mullen, uh, Mullen, Aaron, and the apparition, and himself. Catch that many people, or is it only one person per level? I'm pretty sure you have. If it's only one person per level, then I'll just only catch me, Aaron, and the apparition. I mean, I think yourself is kind of automatically included. You yeah, have enough yeah, sure. to talk to everyone here, pretty much, and be able to deal with the three people you want. Yeah. And as you set up the connection, well, 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 look who came calling back. I do not believe you're in a position to, to say that sort of thing. I had to say something. I know. You could have just said, welcome back. You know. No. Well, Did you brought friends back. this time. What are you going to try and mind-boggle me into this time? Nothing. I actually came for information. Oh? I will not be doing the speaking. She will. Yo. Um, Yo. Uh, my name's Aaron Silverwick. Uh, a head researcher for my sort of friend group. I uh, wanted to ask you a few questions about some pieces of information that I'm lacking on. Okay, then. Shoot your shot. You can't do any worse than white over here. Yeah, he's kind of an ass. Um, so, first off, do you realize how your uh, labs got into this area? Mm -hmm. Not quite, no. I know someone was stealing my places, somehow. Oh, uh, well, I'll fill you in the blank, then. Uh, oh. 
turns out that someone is very important and is named Lamash too. Ah, that bitch. That bitch, That's yeah. Uh, Speaking of, you seem to have gathered her as an admirer, Silas says with a little bit of disdain in his voice. I have the attention of many gods, thank you very much. And I thought I would do the talking. Uh, that does not perm that does not mean that I will not comment every now and then. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's been stealing your various uh, labs at parts that she wants to steal reagents to make mutagenic monsters that have been spewing out over all over the lands around here. By the way, also I believe is the actual person conducting that is someone thing known as the Mother Cyst. Uh, an entity that I believe was talking to you and causing random mutations within your cloning procedures that I saw in your notes. Okay then. Give me a second. Uh, Somebody's going to roll sense motive. So you're coming at him with a fairly tall damn it, she made to break with me. You're coming at him with a fairly tall tale, all things considered. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay then. What do you get of telling me this? Trying to get on my good side? Mm, no. I mean yes, but no. Okay then. Honestly, frankly, I just see your current situation and think it's shite. Well, you're not wrong. Eh, yeah. Um the follow up question is you're smart. Um you know the current situation you're in and I know you as a person. Uh how do I get you out of there without actually killing the Audric? Make me a diplomacy roll. Add two to the result. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> well, as I've already yelled at your friend here, unfortunately my soul is in pieces, so I can't go anywhere until that's fixed. Which means I need all the dead, your little necromancer friend or whatever the fuck he is making, to die. That's a bit of a process, but I also have good news. Dude's being apprehended, basically, as we speak. We are getting a per perfect location on him, and we also located one of his old colleagues, someone who's a bit of a important person to him. Uh, they've been through a lot, the good friends, stuff like that. It, perhaps we can get him to, you know, do it on his own volition. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit of a beatdown. Hey, you bring me his fucking head, and I'll make you my new apprentice for all I care. Actually, I'm not going to do that, because there is a better feature to that. Because frankly, the problem, the person you have a problem with is the mother sis, and so the person who's been t uh, taking parts of you out is a, basically, child of the mother sis. So if we can actually keep Dominic alive, ruin her plans, take the little parasite that's in Dominic's mind out, that, and keep Dominic alive, that'll piss her off so much that it would be better off than killing Dominic. Because frankly, Dominic is a person who is currently under thrall. Essentially. 50%. And it's the only lifeline that the Mother Sist has out of her prison. From what we can tell. There's probably more, but he is the primary one right now. Alchemist watches you for a little while. Looking up and down. Gauging you. Sounds like a very convenient story. Frankly, I was happy that I actually figured that out. I'm done here. You've gotten what you've gotten from me. Really? If you truly... If you think that he truly is being controlled, bring the fucking parasite to me and I'll believe you. Until then, bye. Wow. Okay. As the mental apparition fades, Leodric kind of looks... Is it... Is it done yet? Am I knowing things? <laughs> well... I don't think you succeeded too much in that. No. Oh. Yes, if you are not re recalling anything, then uh, a shame. But it is not an easy process, and so time will let us try again. Okay. Um. You. Uh. You said you'd tell me about the uh the thing, the lab thing. Yeah, it turns out there's a bit of a complication with that. Um, there's a lot of entities vying over the vats that you woke up in. Oh. oh. Not entities? Yeah. We can't say people because they're horrible monsters of demonic origin. He blinks. 
Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much I want to get into it with you. Uh, frankly, the nitty gritty of it's just gonna make your day worse. Um, I guess you... tell me what you think you can. Currently, there's some th thing that you picked up in a vial that a lot of people are wanting. Um. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to get things sorted out, and frankly, it hasn't been easy um, trying to work with things and get the most obvious solution, but things are just not working with me. Uh, I figured I could maybe, as well as restoring some of your memories, get some information that would actually help me out with this, but no. I'm sorry. It's fine. Research is not always convenient. Um, Orcum's razor and all that. If there's anything I can do to help, please tell me. It's better than just being stuck in here. How are you... How are you doing? Oh. Actually, there is a question. Uh, uh, Who, who's your... Thinking back, you remember a few things from Free Air, right? Uh, yeah. Do you remember a mother? Oh, yeah. Do you remember a father? Yeah. That was a little bit dubious. I remember them very generally. Like, I know I... Like, I, I had to have had a father and a mother. Okay, because I mean, mostly... Does. Right. Mostly, um, a big puzzle piece that we're still missing is about how you got all those mutations. That, the augmentations, stuff like that. Um, rubbery bones know. and yeah do you know uh, who your grandfather is uh, on either side vaguely do you I'm not, I'm not asking for names but you know who they are as a person yeah have you met them um, uh, yeah okay well that ruins my idea uh, why frankly because the mutations you picked up should have only worked on the single person Oh. They would have killed everybody else. It's not often people can just live with rubbery bones and stuff like that, unless they're very specific to a certain person's genetics. Can can we maybe talk about something else? So I'm going to sense mode of that. Go for it. Aaron, you, you know, he comes from the same country you come from. He kind of knows what you're vaguely implying. He doesn't like it. That's a very dangerous thing to be implying for someone. Yeah. I'm I'm more looking if there's anything going on in his head. Like, it, does it look like there's something talking in the background or something like that? Not really. He just mostly right. seems kind of worried of the implication of what you're saying. If it could potentially be true. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm not going to be... I'm going to be blunt. Frankly... I'm pretty sure you get what the insinuation is I'm trying to uh, paint out there. I just... I feel like if that was the case, I would know. Yeah, well, frankly, he gets around a lot. He does? Yeah. Dude's been around for a long time. He's a sort of friends and looks at his drink. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it sort of is. He has all the enemies. And yeah, he does. Um, and frankly, uh, no one else knows you're here, and let alone knows who you are. No one's going to make that connection. Maybe. I, I did, by rooting around in his notes and finding you in his lab, and frankly, making a very loose and vague connection to a concept that I don't even know if it's true. But I think with that, we're going yeah, to take a step back. Is getting late and I'm losing it. <laughs> My focus is dying. Mm. I suppose one question I have before we vaguely start wrapping up. So I think, does Aaron actually believe that? That Leo yeah. Jake might be Valkyrie's uh, relation of some form? It's a theory that she has. It's the only reason why she can piece together about why he would survive the genetic augmentation. Okay, then. Dude's theoretically immortal. Probably gets around a lot. Theoretically, a mortal is certainly a way of putting it. Yeah. He's also a huge nerd, though. 
huge nerd the with a lot of money. Pine can have sex. A lot of money. Uh, he's also the type of money. He also seems like the type to say, "No, are you telling me you wouldn't fuck Batman?" No, I'm saying Batman <laughs> wouldn't fuck me. Fair. That's the problem. I, li I like how the implication varies. You would fuck Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's basically what Aaron's insinuating. Updates the big beast type chart. Powerful with lots of money. <laughs> I'm saying he basically could. And there's no reason why he wouldn't either. That's fair. Revelations upon revelations. Yeah. Uh, Potentially. Also, didn't you see? The Alchemist is a little bit of an asshole. I'm well aware he's a bit of an asshole, but I figured if I could be direct with him, you, you could cut through the assholery with facts. No. I guess he just doesn't think well enough of me to actually listen to what I say. I of course guess I'll just not. Prove... I'll just, I'll just prove him wrong. Good. Not sure why I threw my own name in there. If you actually remember my family name, that would not be a great thing, actually. I emoji. Of course not. That, that was a, an odd one in my eyes as well. Yeah, well, I was... I don't know. Maybe if he knew well enough. He's, he's really smart, but I was hoping if he knew well enough that he could see through all the rumors and bullshit and view us as talented yes, I, engineers, but... Uh, I understand, but he is... I don't think he would care either way. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gathering that. I Look, I'll just prove him wrong, and then fuck it. It's his fault. They say, never meet your heroes. I wasn't really much of a hero, more of a just in same way of you, like the person who invented the cog. Like, really impressive, dude. Nice job. I wonder if I could actually meet a similar uh, level. It's a, it's a respect, not a hero thing. Because, I mean, sure, the person who's invented the gun. Oh, wow, that's a good move, man. I do not respect him because he caused massive wars and death. He's not a hero. I do respect the invention, though. There's a difference. Wow, it still feels so down talky. He is. No, you. Oh, oh, me? Yeah. Oh, yes, of course, as well. <laughs> wow, fuck you. Maybe I should just fuck up your little in invention that, that I made to actually get you cured of that curse. I mean, you're free to. No, I want to get it done. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Wow, okay. Fuck off. You, wow, you just kiss my ass. No, I'm leaving. You. I'm fine. Oh, Have a good day. Have a character. Be very good at that. Thank you. I'm going to rig his bed with explosives. That take it, Put it into a tanglefoot bag when he lays down in bed. Good luck doing that with curiosity. I'm assuming curiosity is with you currently, and I'm just going to run back home. No. Good luck doing that with curiosity, like, Whenever I get back to my bedroom. Hey Silas, this is completely unrelated, but I'm just gonna rush back to the dorm before you. Nothing suspicious, BTW. Yeah. Mm. Fine. Fuck you. That ah, shit. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> Silas just just casually grabs the bomb with the mage hand. No. I love you. I love. You. Yes, yes, I know. I want someone to just tell you no one day, no matter what happens. <sighs> you got fucked up by a wrench and you suck. No, I got fucked up by a god. Yeah. And yeah. that's, and there's no shame in saying that. A little bit of shame. Not enough for me to, for me to joke to not joke about it now. Because I know it bothers you. Not the one you... If anything, you should be fucking up beating me up, not you. You're just looking into something for me. He's a dumbass who doesn't even know who he's fighting. <sighs> it makes me... Also, by the way, a bit angry about that, actually. Thinking about it. Because he saw both of us when we were... You know, aspects came out of the wall, chasing voice around the room. Saw both of us there. Didn't see either of us have a wrench. And then he just assumed you had it, not me? What? No. No. But you are completely misunderstanding why that happened. 
I know, I, you looked into the wrench, and you looked at yes. it fucking dead in the eye, I get it. Yes, exactly. There's a difference between seeing someone on the street, because you're chasing someone else, and seeing them with their hand in your wallet. I suppose it's kind of fucking funny that I actually duped him once. I'm going to do it again, too. If I dupe, you mean stood as, an, as, as a bystander? You mean, uh... Slight of being able to not only use the wrench's power on him, throw him into the wall, but also not have him notice. Oh yes, actually, that no, no, no. You're correct. You're correct. My apologies. That is a, that is actually a very good point. My memories of that night are a little bit fa uh, foggy because I kind of was woken up in the middle of the night. Yeah, and I didn't have a huge amount of interest at the time. Wow, everything you say. But yes, no, that that was actually very impressive now that I am remembering. So congratulations. <sighs> Anyways, Shall this experiment all out of run. Aaron's gonna once they get back to the dorm, Aaron's gonna go to a box, open it up, pull out the cloak of evil black stuff. Black sludge from Cordia, stuff like that. Alright, I need to run an experiment on this quick. You need to do me a favor. Tell me if it's easier to, infl uh, like, I don't know, do telekinesis on this, put your mind against put of the mind shield, something like that. Is it easier to put mental effects on this than it is everything else? Specifically the living cloak? That's yeah. Cloak? It's actually more of a sludge sample, that it, but it's all the same stuff. I am not certain. That's is what I'm it asking. live? Technically, yes. But not mentally if you're asking mm. then i am not certain can you use some of your telekinesis i know you have a little bit of it i mean i can try yeah just tell me if it's easier or not i guess chand it you mean chand the ooze yeah i mean it's no easier than anything else to pick up if anything is a little bit harder just if it's amorphous nature yes it is a blob. It is about as easy to pick up as blobs. Living or non-living. Yeah, just keep doing that for a second. Uh, Aaron's going to see if it actually is moving at all, and if it's towards the telekinesis source, or the source of the grip, or stuff like that. Sorry, could you repeat that? Like, if the... It's an amorphous blob. He's carrying an mm -hmm. amorphous blob, but it, does it seem to be, like, moving towards the source of telekinesis? Like, a ferro fluid towards a magnet or something like that? No. Pretty much ever since you like harvested from the source, the goose kind of been inert. The only time it's really ever done stuff is when you've added it to like an item such as your uh, la, 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 la. Mm, the, uh, wayfinder. Yeah. Because I engage in fucking didgeridoo noises to revamp The reason I ask the stylus is because I'm trying to find materials that respond well to mental influence and this is the only one i had on hand ah uh, yes okay i i understand oh uh, you sure you can't like try something else on it i don't know what you could do i mean the only other thing is i can attempt to detect psychic significance towards it i can attempt to detect if it has any thoughts oh uh you can, you can give command that the yelling thing you do that is that is me altering a mind. If it does not Try have a it. mind, I fine. I guess then I will. I guess I will attempt to cast command on it and say shift. I guess. I know the spell fails. Yes, it does not work. It has mm. no mind. All right. I suppose you could try to detect thoughts, or I don't know. Uh. Huh. Uh, it's been inert for a very long time, and frankly, I don't know. I guess it was maybe just an aesthetic choice, which seems like a terrible one. There's frankly better materials. I would agree. Hmm. Do you happen to know of anything like psychically sensitive material-wise? Oh, I perhaps. But metallurgy is not my area of study, even if it is psychically sensitive metals. I don't even need it to be metals. Or materials. 
All I can really think of is living things are more psychically sensitive than others, but just because they have a mind and are alive. Mm. Otherwise... I, could try to, I suppose I could lobotomize a mimic. I... I am not certain how I feel about that. Or about you saying that, rather. What? Lobotomizing a mimic. It just seems like a very odd thing to say. Have you seen what I do in my free time? Yes, I have. And again, even then, it's still a very odd, because you are very odd. Yeah, and I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any material I harvested from the the aberrations that would work with this. Uh, yeah, I'll try to think of something. Because the only two materials I do know respond to psychic responses are the crystals that are artifacts and I dare not try to alter, and the wrench, which I'm at a dead end with. Yes, indeed. Oh, and the random items that kept randomly appearing and were made out of mind stuff, but those no longer exist, as they were all turned into mimics. Oh, that's a shame. Also, uh, really, they were all turned into mimics. Yeah, that was a whoopsie by voice. Ah, of course. <sighs> Which, honestly, I don't think actually was entirely his fault, because frankly, with all the aberration stuff going on with Lamashtu in the region, I doubt they mixed well. No, but still. That's why it was a whoopsie. It's like, hey, I made a bunch of things, and then Lamashtu sort of came in and went, booga booga, and then made them all mimics, I guess. I don't know how magic works. Works by being magical. Yeah, that's infuriating, though, because everyone knows how to do cast spells, but no one actually does any of the math behind it. it would, I am certain that there are many wizards out there who would... Well, yeah, they don't release research papers. That's not true at all. I haven't met any of them that do. Because you are not a wizard. Mm. They release them among wizard circles. Oh, they're very, very secretive, then. They are, yes. That is part of wizardry. <laughs> Whatever. Um, unless you can think of something, man. I don't know. Uh, I cannot help you with this. I got a few ideas. Maybe. I'm gonna stuff this back in a box. Yeah, I'm done. Other than Aaron probably going down to the basement, her workshop, uh, her father's workshop, going to up to the computer, and just staring at a blank screen for a new project to type in a title. Thumbs up. Like we said, unless people specifically have anything they want to ask me about, we're basically done here for tonight. Uh, yeah. Uh, just a another note page for me, other than Aaron's projects. Just two, actually. Like in the computer, because you can, yeah, you basically have your, you know, a text function in there if you want to start writing stuff in for that. Yeah, because I have Aaron's projects, but I want two more. Uh, one for pro project. Oh, right, you mean handouts? Okay. Yeah, I want I want one for uh, project gatekeeper, and I want one for project uh, whatever I'm going to name it.